Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon. I'll be making this video for you guys over Call of Duty Black Ops 2 today. During the gameplay, I was actually playing with some friends and we were having a great time. And of course, that's how you should be playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty is not exactly a game that you can exactly lone wolf at the same expense you are more than welcome to play however you choose to play. But I find it to be a lot more fun when I play with people that kind of have the same skill level as myself. Maybe they understand the game and overall it just seems to be a more playable experience or at least enjoyable in that perspective. But Anyway guys, I'm not really here to talk about Call of Duty today, I really don't have anything I can give you guys as pro tips or anything of that assortment, but I figured this would be a great opportunity to kind of just, you know, chat with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, allow myself to maybe engage in a different kind of perception of how I usually do the videos. Most of the time, you know, they have a general topic, and more nor less, you know, I try to follow that, or at least guide myself to the perfection of that selected topic. But anyway, I'm not really here to talk about that, but... Anyway guys, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one and allow you guys to understand what I've been doing here recently. So besides working, as I continue to tell you guys this, seems like almost every video, seems like I'm always complaining about it, but I'm not really complaining. I mean, I enjoy my job, I think it's a lot of fun, or as fun as jobs can be, you know, of course there's things in life that I would rather be doing, but it's not the worst job I've ever worked. You know, I've worked fast food, believe me, I would never go back to that, even if it killed me. I would, you know, never want to go back to them. You got to give mad respect for the people that do that. I know it's a lot easier to poke fun at them and be like, oh, maybe they can't do any other job. But see, I've worked that, and I don't have any kind of psychological problems or anything like that. So overall, I don't think that exactly fits the description too well. But anyway, the main gist of what I'm trying to say, guys, is that you know, work's been work. I guess I could say, and I guess I'm pretty pleased. Paycheck will be coming this Friday. I have a lot of plans to purchase some more items and hopefully things will get speeded up a little bit more and you guys will get to see the reaction and you guys will definitely get to see a difference in quality coming to my channel. I look forward to that. I'm always trying to improve upon that and I think it'll be a great opportunity for myself to at least get an idea of how other people make videos. You know, I do a lot of you know searching on YouTube for the best render settings ever and half of the time people don't really know what they're talking about. Now Granted, half the time I don't know what I'm talking about either, but I can tell you for render settings there is some key components that are very important, and I always see these younger people that are making simple mistakes, and you know, of course I want to call it out on it, but I'm not going to. But what I'm really trying to say for you guys is today that I look forward to incre increasing the quality size, you know, video and all that kind of stuff, along with the audio. Of course, I've told you guys about the playthroughs before, and I always seem like I'm reliterating my commentaries. I don't try to do that, but I want to keep you guys up to date. That's kind of what I'm about. When I'm not talking about some tip, I'm not trying to teach you guys something. I'm kind of, you know, reliterating or allow you guys to be more informed. I think that if you guys are more informed, the channel is more, you know, susceptible to improvements. And the improvements can come by you guys instead of myself, because half of the time, YouTube is just a very complicated inevitable. There's not really a how-to guide for YouTube, because if there was, I think we'd see a lot more people kind of rising above the ranks. Unfortunately, we don't see that. So it's a little bit different compared to, you know, like a job or something like that when it's already established. Of course, when you're established in YouTube, all the fun stuff gets to happen, or at least the fun stuff into a certain you know, perspective. Of course, there are pros and cons of everything you do in life, no matter if it's YouTube, if it's just real life, if it's working a 9 to 5, whatever. Anything that has to do with you know, doing anything that maybe you, you know, have to do, you want to do, or a hobby, anything of that inevitable. But anyway, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this, but when it comes down to it, guys, I don't know, I've just been, you know, doing a lot of work, and I guess I look forward to increasing the quality size of YouTube, because I think that's what everyone strives to do, and I'm hoping that everything will turn out to be nice and crisp. So with that said, guys, other things that I've been doing is I've been playing a lot of Battlefield today alone, so the time that you guys see this video, I'm hoping that it'll go up on Saturday. It should. I have plenty of time to get it uploaded. But with that in mind, I've actually just been playing with my good friend Sergio. You guys have probably seen him in a few videos. Maybe I haven't really given full explanation of who he is, but he's uh, 87, or M87, however you want to put his name into context. And he's a great guy. He's a military guy, and overall we just have a lot of fun. We've actually been playing most of today and we've been driving around the 4x4s, or the Jeep, or not Jeeps, I'm sorry, the um, buggies. I can't think of what they're called right now, I feel bad. But anyway, we've been running people over, doing stunts, doing jumps, and just having a great time capturing flags. And we've actually been, you know, spots 1 and 2 by capturing all the flags on the, I want to say it's Aftermath, or no, Armored Kill, that's correct. Armored Kill has the AC-130, and it's just been a great time. I've actually been having a lot of fun playing Battlefield here recently. I haven't really been recording a whole lot of it because 
I'm trying to use up these uh, HD PVR gameplay so when the Elgato shows up I can actually start using that because I don't want to still be trying to figure out render settings I'm trying to scrap all my HD PVR stuff and I got a lot of it but more nor less I should be on track and once that's over then I'll start uploading the uh, Elgato footage and I look forward to that I think the bitrate's going to be a lot more impressive to you guys you guys will see a substantial difference in the video quality as I've already talked about but more or less, I just look forward to that along with a couple of other features that are coming, and I'm actually looking forward to getting my new TV. I don't know if I've ever explained this to you guys before, but I guess without further ado, I guess we'll do it. As some of you guys know, my TV is interlaced, and that's basically 1920 by 1080i. Now, I, to some of you guys, might not be a substantial thing, but if you're going to record and put your stuff on the internet, which most of the time, or a large majority of the time is progressive scanned you want a TV that is 1920 by 1080p and what that means is that's a formula that is you know basically showing that your TV is 1080p which is the highest resolution you can have now of course you can go into the more technical issues and you can go into gigahertz like 60 gigahertz 90 120 sometimes you can go higher than that but I've talked to Krybosh about that and he's like that's just a bunch of crap because you can't really see a substantial difference on a TV just because of how they're formatted and a majority of the time that channels you watch or anything of that assortment really has nothing to do with that or the difference in quality isn't going to be substantial to the point where you can actually figure it out or calculate the difference between 60 and 120 or whatever you want to put in for X for 60. But anyway guys I guess without you know making that extremely confusing because I think I just did that. Basically, I'm getting the correct TV that's going to make it so I can make 1080p videos on YouTube and basically that's going to increase the quality side and as well as I can use my $30 HDMI wire because currently I'm using composite and you know composite does the job. It's not something I would like to use. Of course, you know, if I can get the best quality, of course I'm going to do it. I think it's going to make my videos stand out more than maybe some people that are currently using their laptop as a system or anything of that assortment. And I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I do apologize if I made, if I made that extremely confusing. I think I did, but I don't really know how to explain it in an easier context. And I'm not trying to poke any fun at, you know, if you don't understand. Believe me, a year ago I would have had no freaking clue what I just said. And, you know, Krybosh teaches me a lot. He's just a crazy, crazy, crazy little guy that happens to know a lot about technology. And I appreciate it. It definitely makes my time for figuring out purchases and calculating different things and trying to make YouTube a more enjoyable experience for you guys, the audience, a little bit easier, you know, time by time or, you know, one step at a time. I guess that's a correct way to say that. But I guess that's really it. I mean, as for, you know, having a little bit of fun playing some Call of Duty from time to time, having a lot of fun on Battlefield recently, I really haven't been doing a whole lot. I mean, work has just been work. Of course, I've said that already. But anyway, guys. That's mainly it. If you guys want to share anything that you guys are currently doing, maybe you did something exponential over the weekend. By the time you see this, it hopefully it will be Saturday. It'll be probably Sunday morning for people in Europe. But I do apologize about that. Nothing I can do to fix that. But anyway, guys, if you guys would like to share if you have any plans this weekend or anything of that assortment, you're always more than willing to engage in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next installment. This is NMO, signing off. Peace.